That's Mark Harris. He's live here in the studio with us. Uh, he opened it up with a song called Boots. Um, thank you all for being here. I gotta get real close to Daryl. So, uh, okay. we were having Mark open it up. We're having some audio issues today, so I hope it's not too bad. Um, we're basically all gonna have to be yelling towards this microphone right now. Uh, for some reason, my channels aren't working. I don't know what's up, but... Anyway, um... Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's real hard for me not to look at the computer where all the comments are. So I'll say uh, hi to Dusk, hi to Javin Uri, Eric Dubois, Josh Fay, William Morris. What's up, man? Dustin Birch. Yes, thank you. You're hey, welcome. So we're going to do some news and some other things for you. But I think I, I want to start off with, uh, got Mark here in the studio. He's got a really cool event coming up. And I really want him to kind of share with you what that's all about. And uh, it's benefiting veterans, correct? That's yeah. correct. So and this is going to be November 18th, November 18th. at uh, Whiskey Runner Saloon. Uh, Who involved? I mean, there's, well, we're very lucky. Um, you know, a lot of times as a musician you struggle to find sponsors for events, but this is one of those things where as soon as I mentioned it to the sponsors involved, they jumped right on it because it's just such a great cause, you know. Uh, Whiskey Runners used to be um, It used to stage. be the stage, and before that it was Chan's. And, uh, so now it's Whiskey Runner Saloon. They have uh, I great, remember Chance. Yeah, they have great management up there, and uh, John, Kimberly, and Trevin, they're great people. And they, as soon as I presented this business proposal to them, they jumped right on it, and th there was just no hesitation. How about the artists that are on stage? Tell me, tell us more about See, that. See, that's the really cool part that I want to get to is these guys. Um, I don't just consider them friends. I consider them almost like family. Pearl Clarkin, who spends a lot of time up in Nashville, she does a lot of songwriting. She's originally from here, but she's been up in Nashville a lot. And uh, as well, we have Brooke Brown. She's a, she's from Lenox, Alabama. She was over in Louisiana for a little bit. She recently came back. And Kevin Swanson. Was he the guy from Family Guy? No, he's not. Unfortunately. Okay. Want to <laughs> no. make sure. Kevin Swanson. Make sure we clear, yeah. clear that up because I don't want anybody to be guessing. Oh no, not at all. Uh, Kevin Swanson. What's cool about him is uh, he's actually active duty military. He's still in the Navy, and he's originally from Houston, Texas. And he uh, he does a lot of gigs up at the floor of Bama. And uh, so he's, he's got a little bit of a name out there for himself and he's doing really well for himself for a guy who's not even ori originally from here. So it's, it's a pleasure to have him. And then from Cantonment we have Michael Peterson or Mike Peterson. Um, I met him through Nash Next, uh, the contest we did last year and over the last year we've talked a little bit and, oh, via Facebook and we've had a couple encounters. We also have uh, Trevin Bowman, for, uh, for those of you who know Trevin Bowman, he's uh, one of the managers up at Whiskey Runner Saloon. Uh, formerly known as the stage or chance but uh, he's always been uh, kind of an Iowa mind he's uh, just got a really powerful voice and he's a really, man. yeah he's got a really powerful voice and he's just a passionate singer he puts every ounce of energy into every song that he sings be sure to check out their website it's www.guitars the number four vets.org that's guitars for vets.org make sure November 18th to get out there and check that out um, I want to talk about, this is sort of the first episode of the Musicians Guild, and of course a big part of it is going to be bringing in friends from our community like Mark here, and having people uh, kind of perform that music on the show, and, and talk about their gigs, and, and just talk about the scene in general. So, let's, we're going to go to a little bit of music news, uh, we weren't able to dig up a whole lot this week because we've been pretty busy, but uh, first off, the Vet Show on November 18th, also on November 18th at Upward Church on Davis Highway. They're having a auction, and there's a lot of musical auctions there, musical stuff up for auction there. It's between I think I think 6:30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Like it's all day, and uh, I know for a fact they got a signed Tom Petty Stratocaster there. That's pretty cool. Which is freaking cool. Mm -hmm. It's signed by all the Heartbreakers, um, like everybody who, who was in his band at the time. They got it signed. Everybody's on there, so it's covered in signatures, and I, I hope it raises a lot of money. I cannot remember the charity that's for, but it's it's you know it's a church, so it's going to be a good cause, I'm sure. Jerry Zerby, a friend of mine, is looking for some people to do a wedding band with. He's got a singer already, and I think a guitarist. He might still be looking for a guitarist, a drummer and bass player. Um, just to fill that out, it's going to be a circuit band that kind of goes around and plays 
festivals and events and things. Just a good time band. So look Jerry Zerby up. He's on my Facebook. Z-E-R-B-E, -E, I believe. Or Y. I don't know. Uh, uh, any music you can think of right now? I've tried to ask for it. Nobody's <laughs> told me nothing. We'll say Vinyl Music Hall is doing a lot of... Um, Doing a lot more local showcases, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, they're really getting some really, you know, really bang up artists in there lately. Which yeah, is really good. Yeah, it's 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 really cool. Not only national acts, but I'm excited personally just for our local scene. Oh yeah. Uh, all the new local shows they're bringing in there, and it's not just like a hard rock and heavy metal thing. There'll be an indie night. There'll be right. you know I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't expect too long before a singer songwriter night would pop up. Yeah, there. that'd be kind of cool too. Yeah. They've even had a little bit of country up there. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah, <laughs> so it sounds a little bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, calm down. You already lost the jacket. Stop trying to. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'll talk, I'll talk to you guys about something real quick that I think is uh, kind of funny. Um, another artist, local area, Nikki Tyree. She posted this picture up that I guess she got a notice from her landlord about noise complaints so she may have to move because she's been her band Little Delta has been practicing in, in her place and uh, you guys ever had to deal with that like noise complaints neighbors or anything they, they come and knock and they look right at me and like you know what just keep rocking <laughs> yeah well you know it's like I saw this meme on Facebook not too long ago it says my neighbors have a good taste in music but then again they don't really have a choice so, <laughs> you know it pays to have good neighbors. You know, we we have good neighbors yeah. around here. Luckily, you know, I, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. We don't have a lot of neighbors around here. I have an award store on this side. I have an insurance company over there, and then on this side, I have a guy who is pretty much plastered 24/7. So he doesn't he doesn't care. So. <laughs> he barely knows what's going on. He probably thinks it's in his head. Yeah. Don't forget the foam sandwich shop that's over here. Yeah, we're, because the foam sandwich shop is the, is the best thing ever. We're pretty lucky. Okay, so this is the uh, point in the show. We got sponsors. I gotta, gotta read you a little bit about our, our sponsors. Uh, shampoo, the only shampoo <laughs> for carpets that is specifically made to clean out human feces. Well, that's kind of specific. Yeah, very specific. Very specific. So that uh, doesn't doesn't clean out anything else. It will not clean cat, dog, ox. There's it's about 100 animals. It says it will not clean these feces out, specifically human feces. The shampoo. <laughs> Go pick some up, I guess, if you need that. Maybe it's at the dollar store. Yeah. And uh, hmm. other than that, oh, good, a real one. The makers of Mike's Hard Lemonade bring you Mike's Hard Ham. <laughs> I'm sorry. The finally a ham for grown ups that will get you turned up. <laughs> now, on Christmas, it will make you say, wham, bam, thank you, ham. Mike's Hard Ham. <laughs> Those are our sponsors. They're all awful and fake. But if you'd like to sponsor a show, as we keep going, five bucks, I'll read your little message on air. Can't be racist or homophobic. You can send it to my PayPal, Richard Dunlavy, D-U-N-L-A-V-Y, at yahoo.com. That's the real plug. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. go. I'm going to give me some Mike Sard hand, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate to hate to actually drink it or eat it because I don't know which one it would be. I think it's a twist off. I mean, because maybe it's liquid ham. Who who drinks liquid ham? <laughs> and if it's a hard ham, what do you use to eat it? Do you smash it against the wall and whatever pieces flake off? That's what you get to eat. <laughs> That's the ham for grown ups that'll get you turned up. That's all I know. What ham? And the shampoo. I mean, seriously, <laughs> is it like poop that you rub into your carpet that's actually made of feces? I mean, it would, I don't understand how it can be like. So I don't specific. know, but I'm a little it's bit. Probably scared. coming handy for single moms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shampoo. I can't yep. believe I just said that with a straight face. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of shows coming up. Let's transition. <laughs> let's segue into that. So uh, on the 28th today, tonight actually, there is a show at the Green Door in Fort Walton. Mm -hmm. It's the Halloween Hoop Game. Yep. And uh, some of our friends are going to be there. Spearman Brewers, uh, Little Delta, who we mentioned earlier, and a uh, cool band called Southern Heartburn. Found another one that Mark was telling me about. One that's also happening tonight. That actually, not tonight. That one's going to be November fourth. I don't know why. I thought you it was, liar. I am a liar. You I'm liar. Sorry. It's actually November fourth. Yeah, it's going to be at Whiskey Runners. <laughs> yeah, it's Whiskey Runners. Uh, Cowboy Troy. Um, the, the formerly known as the stage. I thought that said hashtag. My writing is <laughs> horrible. I know what that was. Yeah, we're trying to get the word out there. Uh, what used to be known as the stage is officially and always will be until further notice. It is now Whiskey Runner Saloon for those who aren't aware. 
Uh, used to be Chan's for what seems like forever, but it is Whiskey Runner Saloon, and they're still on the same location on Nine Mile Road. We got Cowboy Troy coming up November 4th, which is a pretty big show. They've been getting some pretty big action there lately, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty exciting. If but, you're going to be in the Foley area, you can check out uh, my buddy Jesse Sawyer's other band. He's going to be uh, Jason Abel Project is playing out at Doc Holiday's in Foley. That is tonight as well. Um, tell them about Megacene Fest 7. Um, well, this is the start with number, November 3rd, the day before, the Friday before. Um, so next Friday, uh, I think it's next, yeah, next Friday, um, at the vinyl, there's going to be, as we said, there's going to be the showcase. It's five dollars, um, exfoliation, and, uh, negative. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I, I can't read my own handwriting. Exformation, there it is. Uh, Kim Trail and Storm Within. Really? What are you doing? I'm waking stuff up. I'm getting distracted. I like it. But anyway, they're going to be there. It's going to well, be a real nice showcase uh, at the vinyl because, as we know, vinyl is a real nice place. Uh, they have a booming sound system, and as you guys know, I love loud. So hoorah on that, right? Um, and then the next day, Saturday, um, we're actually going to be playing a show out in uh, Saraland. Um, a gem, a good friend of ours named Jason Few. He puts on a lot of badass metal shows, and for some reason he still likes to have us show up. I know that we don't. Productions. Yeah, we don't. We're not metal. At least we don't classify ourselves as that. We just have a good sound that we like. Um, it's going to make a scene fest out of the VFW in Saraland uh, behind the Burger King. <laughs> Storm Within is on that one too. Dread, of course. Uh, a ton of really great bands. Yeah, I think there's like freaking nine of them or something. It's just a ridiculous I'll, amount. I'll look that one up in a second, but. Um, Going back to the November 3rd show, X Formation is playing, and I got to talk with their guitarist, his name's Kodiak Jackson, and uh, I asked him a couple questions, I wanted to find out how long they were together and how they got their name and all that, and he said they've been together about six months, he said they went through literally a hundred different band names, and they came up with X Formation because uh, it just was sort of a little bit tongue-in-cheek and it kind of fit, you know, they're all from different bands, and it was, uh, they said 50 years ago, some scientist coined the term, some scientific thing. So that's basically what I got out of them. But they said they've been together about six months and they're working toward getting a demo done and soon they're actually going to have a live video for their show uh, that they're playing soon. I guess they're going to have it professionally filmed. Mm -hmm. So that'll be cool. Hopefully you'll be able to go out and get that. Uh, Mark, do you have any music coming out, anything soon, or anything you're working on? Or I do have this uh, new song that I just wrote recently, it's called Nashville. Yes. It's a, it's a little bit, okay, it's a lot politically incorrect, if you will. <laughs> you can for that, uh, playing that for us here in a little bit. But, um, um, here's everybody on Make a Scene Fest. It's, it's epic. So, of course, Gravity Reversing, our band is playing. Excessum, which, Excessum has had their music in, I don't know, a million movies and shows by this point. Those guys are hilarious and awesome. Storm Within, Dark Star Coven, Killhammer, Killhammer, Beyond My Control, Son of a Gun, Derek Paul Wilson. I see you there. He's excited that Son of a Gun's playing. I am too. And of course, Dread. And it's all in uh, one day at the uh, VFW in Saraland. And you know you can find it or talk to any of us, and we'll tell you how to get there. Yeah. So that's November fourth. That's going to be a blast. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Uh, last time we played, real nervous because a lot of guys, they showed up with a lot of great talent. Uh, Mobile was really swimming in a lot of great metal talent out there. Um, so when we showed up, we didn't think we were going to fit when we were playing Donald Break. And uh, boy, I tell you, <laughs> they took us in like a, like we were a wounded bird and just like, yeah, we like you. Come on in. Yeah, Sheldon, was a, Sheldon Hilliker is uh, in the live chat right now. He said, meet your next exit chance. <laughs> Truth. All right, so now that we're done with uh, with that, um, and then as you guys should know by now, uh, if y'all have any events coming up at all or anything that you need want us to put out, we can do that for you. you just gotta send us either a private message or anything, smoke signals, email, sure, smoke signals. whatever. Put it on our wall. Tell us that we, we're ugly. Whatever, it just doesn't matter. Just make sure you tell us, and we'll. We'll try and pass it on. You never know who you can talk to when you're on here. Yes, please make sure to tell us we're up. Yeah, that's important. Right. Because we just got to keep it real, you know? It anyway. Keeps, keeps it real. Um, so, i tell you what. Since we got Mark here, let's let's talk more about him as, a, as an artist. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was actually I mean, going to have him go ahead and do it in Nashville. 
Well, I wanted to talk about him first and then do it. I don't like talking about me. Like, yeah, I don't like I talking about you either, that's but why still, I sing. calm down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Pesky, that guitar over there, Mark. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What I wanted to do is just basically fill people in on uh, when Thank when you. did you start? When did you start in your music? Everything. When did the well, sparkle in your eye happen? Well, uh, the actual original sparkle started when I was just a young kid. I used to listen to a lot of uh, vinyls of you know the London Philharmonic Orchestra. And one of my favorite artists was actually uh, top two or Mozart and Beethoven. I just love the emotion and passion behind what they wrote. And when you think about how much effort and work it took to write music back then compared to now, it's just insane. I mean, these guys had to work for months and even years just to complete one movement of a symphony. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to that, you, you just, you take in all that emotion and passion, especially from Beethoven. I mean, the guy couldn't hear, but yet he still wrote these amazing symphonies and concertos that just blow your mind for someone who couldn't hear anything. That, I think that was the biggest sparkle for me. But moving forward, you know, as I met friends like Richard and Daryl, they introduced me to different styles of music and uh, rock very quickly, especially Southern rock and classic rock became uh, two of my favorite styles. Um, but I'm heavily influenced by country as well because I just love the stories of country music. You know, mm -hmm. take, take away the music and just listen to the words of, a, of an old country song. And it, it tells the story of, you know, pain, heartache, happiness, it tells everything about what it is to be a human being and to live this existence. So that's why I like writing country lyrics, if you will. And we used the term country loosely earlier when they said I'm a local country artist. I guess you would throw me more in outlaw country because like I was saying, you know, like I was saying earlier, a lot of my stuff that I write is very politically incorrect. Um, I like to write and not be afraid to say what Nashville is afraid for you to hear. So that's what's very important to me, and that's kind of where this song Nashville came into play. And that's and that's good. Um, you know, sorry to put you in a generalization. I didn't know, but uh, no, that's all good. It's a, you know, but uh, just so people will know that uh, we we all three knew each other for a long while, um, uh, way back before 2000. Hell, I don't even know when we met. I think yeah, we used, to, we used to steal golf carts together but, and start getting in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Statue of Limitations, dude. Oh, Calm yeah, down. Statue of Limitations. We're good. We're good. But, uh, but no, uh, we, we used to always be around each other. Mark, I always used to know, like, he played the, uh, the piano. Mm -hmm. His brother, like, played some sort of sousaphone. Mm -hmm. uh, the trombone. That's the it. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, I think he played the sousaphone. Um, his father was very musically talented, so his whole family has a lot of musically talented people in it. Mom, sister, let's let's, let's, let's yeah. get to some music, man. Let's hear this new tune. Are you yeah. D standard? I'm a D standard. D standard, okay. All right. Well, Mark has asked that I play lead on a song I've never heard before, so I'll give it a shot. See what happens. All right, here we go. Short little intro. Old Nashville can kiss my ass. They didn't like Pink or Johnny Cash because they spoke the truth and put all y'all to shame. I'll be okay, I'll be just fine But I damn sure ain't gonna walk the line For a damn shit show that wants me to change my name No, I won't sell out, I don't roll like that And you can tell Nashville to kiss my ass I'll be an outlaw singer until I die I'm gonna make sure country music stays alive I hope Nashville burns in a ring of fire I'm sure old Johnny's rolling in his grave Cause the music y'all push is a crying shame So I'll be an outlaw and sing until the day I die No, you won't force me to buy that shit Cause real country music sounds like this Y'all put 
bush is a crying shame I'll be an outlaw and sing until the day I die Nothing won't force me to buy that shit Cause real country music sounds like this Till I die, gonna make sure country music stays alive. I hope Nashville burns in a ring of fire. I'm sure old Hank is rolling in his grave, cause the music y'all push is a crying shame. I'll be an outlaw, sing until the day I die. But you won't force me to buy that shit, cause real country music sounds like this. That's Nashville. All right, well, good. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 Two classes. Thanks, fellas. Hey, great yeah. job over there on the lead guitar. I don't know about hey. that. Hey, I was well, holding down the awkward stairs. Well, you know, that's what I was doing. Freaking yeah, awesome guy here. It's an always it's always a pleasure to play and co-write with these guys because let me tell you what a lot of people don't realize about Richard over here is he was in a southern rock band and. You know, these guys are so versatile. Um, you, if you ask them or give them a general idea of what you're looking for, if you ever want to come record with them and you tell them, hey, this is what I need, this is what I want, it's like Richard can just read your mind. I remember when I did baptize with him, I gave him very little guidance and detail, just, hey, this is the sound I'm looking for, and I'm kind of thinking this, that, or the other. And what I got back in return was, it was like he pulled it straight out of my head. It was crazy. It was, you know. Little just props to uh, these guys over here. Far side. We sneak into his room while he's sleeping. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we got you need to wear more, underwear uh, when you're sleeping. We got one more segment <coughs> before we got to close out the show. We're running a little bit long, but we appreciate everybody hanging out. Yes. Uh, this is called Cat Calls. This is where we prank call Phil Thomas Cat. So. <laughs> this should be a new segment we're trying out. Yeah, new segment. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm assuming he doesn't you know got, about this. You got to dial for it. No, no. Yeah. Calling the cat line. There you go. There we go. Cat calls. <laughs> Brought to you by Mike's Heart Hand. Hey man, this is Mike, your plumber. Uh, we were just trying to see if your pipes were still good, doing good under your house. Uh, but still all right, we're gonna come on out there on the third and pull them all out and replace them with, uh, you know, Nerf pipes. It's the new thing. Just give us a call back, man. You know the number. Thanks, Cat. Bye bye. Like the new Coke. Cat <laughs> <laughs> calls brought to you by Mike's Hard Hand. That's what. <laughs> I was hoping he would answer. It would have been a lot more fun. Yeah. I loved his voicemail. That was kind of cool. Yeah, his, his it's, it's so PTK right there. I was really, we were, we were <laughs> both on. talking about that segment. We were like, we really hope he was watching. So when we called, he would answer and go, I'm watching you. I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something he would say as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, hit us up if you have shows you're playing. We're going to try to do a lot more of that and we're gonna get some more people in here you know hopefully hopefully every week it'll usually be a little bit later we had to do a little earlier today um, but that's really about it you yeah. know Mark thank you for coming in yeah it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to be here and if anybody hears from uh, you know uh, Ryan Thompson let him know the practice I think is around four should have been at three but I don't think he could make it so. yeah. Well, yeah just let, just let him know <laughs> he hasn't talked to us today <laughs> yeah and nobody tell Phil Thomas cat we're prank calling yeah, just share this video him. on his wall. Because we have to do that segment every week. And, and he can't catch on. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, we got to come up with new material. We can't come up with new material. We'll be prank calling you.
Oh, okay. You hit the right button. I, it's fine. I did. No.